All right, so here we are on another stop of the Buffalo Chicken Wing Tour, um, the wing exploration, who has the best wing, I don't know, whatever the heck you want to call it, but um, I'm out here comparing uh, the two most popular places of to get buffalo chicken wings and um i'm also introducing some local places and this place that i'm about to go into now is very local here in um in buffalo new york where i grew up and it's a delicious place um we're going to try a cajun wing it's a very local place um i know the people here that hang out so let's go inside let's go check it out i'm here um now at the buffalo tap room and grill exploring and trying their chicken wing i know it's pretty good it's actually one of my favorite places to eat so i'm going to see how it compares and how it holds up against some of the other heavyweights and some of the other places here that offer chicken wings in buffalo let's go all right so here we are let's go check out the buffalo tap room here in tonawanda new york um, at the corner of sheridan and niagara falls boulevard All right, so inside the Buffalo Tap Room here, um, gonna have a little drink this afternoon. And here in Western New York, we like Labatt Blue. Um, it's a Canadian lager and it is excellent. I've been drinking it most of my adult life. Every time I'm in the Buffalo, it helps uh, wash down the chicken wing sauce. So uh, Labatt, if you ever wanna do something with Travel Man Dan, eh, you know, promo, commercial, something like that, you give me a call, I'd love to. And. Uh, ordered the Cajun wings. Um, they're basic your, your buffalo wing. Then they had the dry rub of the Cajun spice to it. And then after that, which I really like, is then they go ahead and they finish it on the open fire grill. So it's got that charred smoky feel to it. And um, well, can't wait because this place is good and you need to check out the Buffalo Tap Room. I know a lot of places uh, here in Buffalo have good wings. This is one of the best places. Yeah, Buffalo Tap Room and Grill is not only known for uh, good chicken wings, but it, uh, they have a full menu. You can see right here. All right, so they got a lunch menu, um, all kinds of salads and specials and things like that. But look at this, uh, you know, they got, I heard their burgers are awesome. Uh, I know Pops likes them a lot, so they got these uh, really good burgers. They got uh, all kinds of sandwiches, tacos, uh, and uh, pizza chicken fingers, chicken wings, all your uh, necessities here in Buffalo. So uh, if you come in for the wings, you might also want to try something else. They got a great menu, great food. Shout out to my boy, Chris Rizzo, who actually works in the, um, the back, who is actually the chef. So that's a really good place. Uh, I'm not 100% biased to this, but um, a guy that I went to high school, a friend of mine is actually the chef here. So that's great. I'll go ahead and leave uh, the link to their website down in the description below. So if you want to have a little uh, pre-strategy before coming to the Buffalo Tap Room and Grill, um, you can go and check out their website, look at all the pictures. All right, well, the wings have arrived. Da -da -da -da. Check them out. This is what they look like. They come in this really cool fry basket. Okay, you order them, you get 10, and um, you get this. I like, I like to call this the traditional buffalo bowl for uh, chick. Thank you for chicken wings. I don't know why, but it's been around ever since I've been alive. It's always been the bowl that you throw your wings in. So um, that's good that they have that. Once again, look at this basket of wings. Ten. Um, you know, it always comes with uh, little sticks of carrots and celery. So. If uh, you don't get uh, carrots and celery, something's up. And as you all know, blue cheese, baby. Look at that thick, creamy blue cheese. I mean, yeah, people have said they like ranch and they like uh, barbecue sauce on top of it, but there's only one real way to eat buffalo wings, and that's uh, blue cheese. That's it. So 
let's go ahead. Let's get into this and let's try out these wings. All right, here we go. All right, so you know you have two styles of wings. You have your flats, which uh, probably I guess would be the forearm <laughs> of the chicken, and you have what I like is the drum. So some people only like one style. I like them both, but um. My favorite is definitely the drum. So I'm gonna start off with the drum. And um, if you look at this, you can see where it's tainted orange, and inside you have the char grill, these little flakes of black that comes off the grill right there after it's um, done and deep fried and dipped in the sauce, then it's laid over the grill and fire grilled, and it has that nice extra little smoky flavor to the Cajun, to the wing sauce and um, really gives it that really nice taste. So here we go, let's give it a, give it a taste here. There we go. Oh man. Oh man. That is delicious. Wow. And you can taste the crispy crunchiness of the wing and the way that it's slowly grilled on the open fire grill afterwards. I mean, mm, and that tangy dry rub of the Cajun style. It's got a little bite to it, uh, which is why, <laughs> excuse my mustache and beard, tis the season, beard season. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it really helps cool off. The blue cheese really helps cool off that extra bit of um, tanginess and spiciness. Mmm. Mmm. One down, baby. Now, like all good places, you take a flat, you do both sides. It's not a double dip, it's just that both sides. <clears throat> and, um, well, you try to get it in one bite. That's how you take care of flats. Wow, these are really good. You know, the Cajun spice isn't overpowering. It's not super hot. It doesn't have that, um, well, it's uh, uncomfortable to eat kind of heat. It's just, just that right bit of taste, that right bit of cayenne or flavoring that they use to make that dry rub. And um, oh, I really love that extra little bit of burnt taste after it's been on the grill. A healthy portion of blue cheese. Mm. And down goes the drum. I call that, that little um, certain move, the dishwasher. And because what you do is, well, let me get a, swig of beer what you do is you coat one side with blue cheese then once you bite into it you stick the whole wing in your mouth and then you rotate just as this as if you were a dishwasher and strip that bone of all the chicken meat <laughs> look at this little thing. I'm not sure what the hell this is. I'm not sure if it's a flat, a wing, a drum, but it's just like a little ball. Um, I must be the lucky customer. If it gets too hot, and there are wings that are like infernos in your mouth, which I don't really care for because you don't really enjoy it. Your tongue goes numb, your cheeks go numb. I mean, what the hell is the purpose of it? You gotta wash your hands five times afterwards. I'm not really into that. But you use this carrot stick and a little bit of blue cheese. Help cool everything down inside the palate. <clears throat> how do you like your wings? Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you like your wings. Do you like them hot, spicy, mild, Cajun, uh, Parmesan? Where's a good place for you to get wings? Leave me a comment below. Let me know where a good place for me to try chicken wings is.
Wow. Wow, we're really crushing these wings, man. Buffalo Tap Room and Grill did not disappoint. These things are great. Really, I mean, you're gonna see I've eaten at a lot of places and tried a lot of different wings, but this style is, well, you're gonna see my score at the very end of all this. Anybody that knows how to eat chicken wings, every once in a while you don't get a full pull from the flats. You gotta go back in there. Poke it back through. Voila. All right. Mowing our way through them. I mean, look at the side swipes of these things from where the grill charred them sideways where they were sticking on the grill. Never really cared so much about detail on a chicken wing. <clears throat> but uh, here in Buffalo, this is a serious business. All right, here it goes. The last one, uh, flat. This is where you really clean up and you put a lot of blue cheese on it because, well, the eating's done. You're at your last wing, you made it. Damn buffalo tap room. Delicious. Perfect amount of crispiness. Perfect amount of spiciness. Perfect amount of Cajun flavor. Perfect amount of, well, barbecue feel on the grill. I mean, just an overall great place to get wings. You make it out here to tap room be sure to tell them that you saw travel man dan's video here and that you're inspired to come out here and try these ones all right so not only are the chicken wings and the food and and the atmosphere delicious here but the staff is incredible here say hi to the staff all right <laughs> so you want to introduce yourselves hi i'm caitlin hi caitlin Hello. I'm Shannon. hi um hi. so what can you guys recommend to you know eat here drink here off the grill. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Open face sandwich. Chicken wings. Oh, chicken wings. All right. Okay. What's your favorite chicken wing? My favorite is barbecue. Barbecue? Yeah. Now, now, can you get those on the grill? Like, I had the Cajun ones here. Can you get the barbecue ones on the grill? Yeah, you can get any of them. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a game changer. Um, yes. And I noticed um, you said that you had the chicken fingers on the grill. Yes. Is that something that you can get here also? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Wow. Anything on the grill, anything off the grill. That's awesome. <laughs> well, ladies, it was a pleasure eating here. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. Obviously, you can see they got a big selection of booze and alcohol. So if that's your thing, <laughs> uh, come on out here to the Buffalo Tap Room and Grill. Well, that's it for this episode of the Chicken Wing Hunt. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, saw some delicious wings. I hope you learned something and you learned about some new places to go and try some wings here in Buffalo. And most of all, I hope you got inspired to come here to the Buffalo Tap Room and Grill and try these wings. If you haven't already, you go ahead and hit that sub button right now, ring the bell, leave me a comment, let me know where you'd like to see me go next. And if you're from Buffalo, let me know, hey, where's a good place to go and get some wings? How do you like them? Leave me a comment. How, um, how do you like your wings? Where is a new place I can try out? I'm Travel Man Dan, and remember, it's a big world out there. Make sure you see every bit of it. 